Hello guys, welcome back to the Medicine PYQ topic series. Uh, the episode 3 which I have chosen is the Child Turkerberg score and uh, Mel score. A very uh, important topic from which the questions have been asked many times. First, let us go to the PYQ questions which were asked. So the first question was, which among the following is false? Uh, components of Mel scoring system are creatinine, bilirubin, INR, serum sodium. Components of Child Turkerberg score are albumin, bilirubin, INR, ascites, and encephalopathy. Components of CTP score are creatinine, bilirubin, INR. MEL score is used to assess and prioritize patients awaiting liver transplantation. The first question goes like that. And the second question is, what is CTP class for the patient who has a serum bilirubin of 2.5, serum albumin 3 grams, prothrombin time 5 seconds, INR2, no encephalopathy, and mild ascites, where you have to calculate the score and comment on the class which it belongs to. So before coming to the answer, let us quickly go to the topic and what it comprises of so that we have the idea regarding the answer. So first, the child turkert pug score, uh, what it is, it is a scoring system uh, used to assess the prognosis of chronic liver disease, mainly the cirrhosis. The components here are albumin levels, bilirubin levels, prothrombin time, ascites and encephalopathy. So there are five components of CTP score. How you can remember is you can remember it with the help of mnemonic A, B, C, D, E, where A stands for albumin, B for bilirubin, C for coagulation, that is a prothrombin time, D for distension, which relates to ascites, and E for encephalopathy. So I hope the CTP score now becomes easier with the help of this mnemonic. So we know it is A, B, C, D, E. Coming to the points, how is give a score? Uh, so the components we now know. So encephalopathy, we give a point of 1 when it is not there. From mild to moderate, we give a point of 2. And uh, for severe encephalopathy, we give a point of 3. For ascites, if it is absent, it gets 1 point. If it is mild to moderate ascites, which is diuretic responsive, it gets a point of 2. And if it is severe ascites, which is diuretic refractory, it gets a point of 3. The bilirubin levels, if it is less than 2, gets a point of 1. 2 to 3 gets a point of 2. And more than 3 gets a point of 3. Albumin, more than 3.5, gets a point of 1. If it is coming down, that is 2.8 to 3.5, it gets a point of 2. And if it is less than 2.8, it gets a point of 3. And then the P time, if it is less than 4, gets a point of 1. If it is 4 to 6, it gets a point of 2. And if it is more than 6, we give a point of 3. Now, uh, once we add all the parameters, whatever the total points we get, we classify them into class A, B and C. Where class A is between 5 to 6 points. Class B is 7 to 9 points, that is moderately severe liver disease. And class C is 10 to 15 points. Then the MELT score, that is the model for end stage liver disease score. Uh, so first, let us go to the uses. That is, it is used to assess and prioritize patients awaiting liver transplantation. It is used for assessing prognosis in cirrhosis and also predicts short term prognosis in patients undergoing TIPS insertion. Uh, very important is the components uh, of the MELT score, which we can remember with the mnemonic F basic where F is the female sex, B is the bilirubin level, A is albumin, S is serum sodium, I is INR and C is creatinine. It is important to remember here that the C here is creatinine unlike the C in the uh, CTP score which was coagulation or uh, you could say it was prothrombin time. This is the main differentiating point. Now let us go back to the question so that we can uh, solve them. Which among the following is false? So the components of MELT score as we know it is F basic. Yeah, so it is creatinine is there, bilirubin is there, INR is there, serum sodium is there. So this statement is correct. Second option, components of CTP score are albumin, bilirubin, INR, ascites, and cephalopathy. So if you remember A, B, C, D, E, so the albumin, bilirubin is there, coagulation C, ascites, the distension D, and cephalopathy E. So this statement is also correct. Third statement, components of CTP score are creatinine, bilirubin, INR. Remember the C in the CTP score is not creatinine but it is a coagulation which is INR. So this option looks false. Uh, coming to the last statement, MELT score is used to assess and prioritize patients awaiting liver transplantation. Yeah, that is true. So now we know the answer. The answer is C, where creatinine is not a component of CTP score. And then the second question, what is the child turkert perks class for the patient who has a serum bilirubin of 2.5 mg per DL, serum albumin of 3 gram per DL and P time of 5 seconds, no encephalopathy and mild ascites. So first we'll try to assign points to each parameters and then we'll add it up and try to classify into which class they belong to. So first the serum bilirubin is 2.5 mg per DL that is between 2 to 3. So it gets a score of 2. 
serum albumin 3 gram so it is between 2.8 to 3.5 it gets a score of 2 p time is 5 it's more than 4 that's 4 to 6 between 4 to 6 so it gets a score of 2 no encephalopathy gets a score of 1 mild ascites gets a score of 2 so if you add it up it's 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 1 so it is 9 any score between 7 to 9 is class b so the answer here is class b so i hope this revision topic was useful and i tried to make it simpler and i hope if this comes in the exam you could answer uh, till then keep studying keep revising and i'll see you in the next episode cheers